literally right when we pulled up to film this video, this arrived directly from StockX. I hit a bid on this, didn't think I would ever own this piece. Not sitting on this, I will be wearing this. Most likely at SneakerCon Philly. Here we go, what do we got here? Oh my god. What do we insanity. got here? Insanity, insanity. A little bit we of Supreme. Got the, the Nike Jeez. leather Supreme. I think it's called an Anorak. It's a leather pullover hoodie selling for over $1,000 on StockX. I did not pay $1,000, I'll tell you that. Got super lucky on the price. This is too crazy to just walk by and have them wonder what it is. Best artist in the world is King Saladin. He blessed me, man. He blessed culture and he hand embellished it. King Saladin, X Culture Kicks 2023. One of one. King Saladin is my guy, one of my good friends. He's literally the best artist in the world. Gonna take over the whole game over the next few decades. So definitely check out his art if you don't know what he's doing right now. All right, now we're gonna go bring out some of Franco's new collection and show you guys what he got. It's a ton of heat, so stay tuned. All right, guys, we just took out all of Franco's pairs from his bedroom. These are his new pairs, 52 brand new pairs of shoes that he's just got. So this is the only special box I have in house. This actually came in earlier this week. I think this is a steal right now. I got it for like 200 bucks on a bid. It's the Concepts Nike Dunk High, SB Dunk High Turducken special box. And in here you have the Concepts you know, it's like a Thanksgiving little tray. You have a Nerf football, which is supposed to be like the turkey leg. I don't know what's in here. I'm obviously not gonna open it. You got your nice little turkey wrapping paper and then inside you have the Turducken. You got Nike crazy. SB Concepts custom socks. Crazy, crazy special box at the price point it's at right now for Concept shoes. Unbelievable value. The shoes are a little crazy. Concepts always goes all out too whenever they're making a special box like yep. Orange Lobsters. Those are the most recent Concept collab. But yeah, these are Look the, the Turducken. Look at the detail. They even have, instead of nutrition facts, they got fun facts. <laughs> so there you have it. Let's talk about your most recent pickup. Picked it up last night, negotiated with my man Chase right yeah. here. The Brooklyn Off-White Air Force Ones, obviously so clean. Slime green. Slime green. Insane shoe. A shoe that's just gonna continue to go up in value forever. This is just super iconic. The green is just, it just hits. R.I.P. to Virgil. R.I.P. Probably the best colorway, in my, in my opinion. I love the blue one, the MCM collab. That's my favorite one, but these are second to me. I mean, I'm a huge Off-White collector. I love Off-White, love everything Virgil's done. Uh, you can see I got the off-white clock behind Chase. Got a bunch of other off-white stuff in here. It's just, you know, one of my favorite brands of all time. This is the SB Dunk High McRad. This is the Black History Month Dunk from 2013. I forget exactly who the McRad gentleman is. I actually looked into it, but I already forget. He was a legend in some sport in the 80s. I forget, but this dunk is dedicated to him. Nothing, too, nothing too crazy, you know. These are an incredibly wearable pair of dunks. I got one day I might tow these, but I mean, compared to where they were a few months ago, I just had to cop another SB right here. Seems like you're into SBs. SBs are my favorite type of shit, for sure. SBs and some limited Jordan 4s as we'll get into, but why so sad? People have been going crazy over these as well. Like when it comes to Culture Kicks customers, they've been begging us to get more of these in stock. So a, a shoe that's not super hard to find right now because it just released, but I would say, you know, give it six months to a year. It's gonna be very hard to find, and I feel like the demand will still be there. Super detailed, like the sand traps, you know, like got the got the turf under here, the green. Also, it looks like the East Side collab hang tag, the East Side collab hang tag right here. And of course, they do a great job on the box. Yeah, it's just like look at that. If so, you're, if you're a fan of golf, like that's a must have. Yeah, exactly. Basically, the thesis behind a lot of these purchases is I think that these are going to be incredibly hard to find and valuable in like five, 10 year time spans. And like, this is a shoe that I can easily see people sleep on now and then want in five or 10 years. Yeah. Another SB, the best box. More SBs. What do we got? Okay. Everyone's loving these lately as well. Sandy Bodecker eBay Tribute. SB Dunks. If you guys didn't know, Nike SB does not stand for skateboarding. It stands for Sandy Bodecker because he's the one that created this type of shoe. Obviously, they are meant for skateboarding, but the SB does stand for Sandy Bodecker, who was a designer at Nike and actually won the one of one Nike eBay Dunks in 2003 for 30 grand. And he died uh, during the last decade. So this is an homage to him. You know, it's something I probably wouldn't put to toe but it's something I want to put in my collection as well. Exactly, just an iconic shoe, has a lot, of, a lot of history. People probably know what this box is if they've seen our channel. If you guys have shopped with us before, you know this is a top five mover for us last year, just a must have. Do not have the Eminem Carhartt Force, so you gotta have these, right? Super iconic shoe, black canvas force. It's gonna continue to go up. This will be a price point similar to the black hats in a few years in my opinion. 
They used to be a shoe that was sitting at retail stores. It's a thousand dollar shoe. That was back in 2020. They were sitting at storefronts. I can't believe you could that. just go in and walk in and purchase as many as you wanted. No one decided they liked them back then, but apparently everyone loves them now, and that's why they're thousand dollars. See what happens? It's an all black colorway sitting on shelves. People are like, oh, it's not going to resell. Two years go by, three years go by. Everyone wants it. They don't exist anymore. Thousand dollar shoe. Another clean Jordan one colorway that right now is not super resellable, but it will be in a year or two because it's just such a clean shoe. Got the HBCU dunk collection here. This is just a super sick dunk. I'm hoping to collect all of the dunks in this set. Um, the FAMU dunks are probably my favorite. Ever. Those are probably like the most wearable and unique. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably why they're the, the price point where they're at. But yeah, the HBCU collection in general is very, very crazy. They did a great job on every single pair. The Tiffany SB box, my favorite SB box of all time. I actually accidentally copped another pair of these last night because I had bids on the nine and nine and a half. So now I got both sizes. So, so you got to tell one. Might be towing one or making a deal with Chase in the near future. <laughs> Here we have the SB High Northern Lights. These look Crazy. like the Yeezys, the Yeezy, Yeezy ones. ones. Come yeah. on. I don't really see ever see this teal bottom too, this colorway on the bottom of uh, a shoe. So when did these drop? These dropped in 2014. This is another shoe where not all sizes are listed on StockX. So if you see like a nine or nine and a half for 400 bucks and the rest are 800, Cop it. That's what I did. And these are going to go into the mid thousands easily. If you're a collector or if you're someone that is just entering the sneaker game and you're looking to get a lot of value out of your shoes, personally, either Jordan Retros that are like from, you know, old colorways, OG colorways, or SB Dunks. SB Dunks are probably where you're going to find the biggest bang for your buck. You doubled up right here. <laughs> doubled, got the double up right doubled here. Doubled up on the Travis. This one right here is going to tow. Tempted to just tow it right now, but we're gonna save that. I'm gonna yeah. tow it at our new warehouse next week, and I got the nine and a half to put on ice forever. Super, super clean, very wearable. I'm not usually someone that wears like all black shoes. I'm usually wearing all white shoes, but like these are just so clean with the stitching. And then the custom Travis Scott bandana wrapping the shoe. What do you think is the price on these in like a year? These are going to probably go into like the $1,200 to $1,500 range in a year, similar to the reverse mochas now. And the mochas are going to go, I think that might be the best one, the reverse yeah. mocha. Reverse mocha is probably the most in demand, but this is the most wearable. We sold a ton of these guys, a ton of these Am Am Aniers. I have another Am Am Anier coming in in a little bit to show you guys, but these are the Jordan 4s. These I may tell because they're just so clean. What do you think about Nike doing this whole like age type of look now? Like they've kind of, a lot of their like more hype shoes, they've been pushing this age soul. What do you think about that? Uh, I honestly, am, I'm a fan of it. Like the Lost and Founds too, super yeah. like age. They kind of put that weathering in. It kind of just makes the shoe a little bit more unique. I would say out of the four, I like the fours the most. Out of the four silhouettes, I like the fours really? the most. Really? I think I might like these the there most. There we go. The box on this is crazy. Just love the color of the box. Yeah. The, the OG Jumpman Jordan 85. Like right on the box. Look at that. Like it's just yeah. these are so clean. With the kind of snake skin, alligator skin mm -hmm. on the on the swoosh. And up here we have the quilted inside again, guys. Super, super high quality. The hang tag. Yeah. I'm on the air right here on the tongue. You know what? After I look at those, like those are also very nice. These every single deal. silhouette, every single silhouette that Amon Manier has done has really killed it. They, they really don't it. miss. They do not they miss. They do not miss. So it's like we got two DJ Khaled's over here. We got both. Keep going. Keep going. I have the sale right here. DJ Khaled's. This one I actually like more than oh, definitely. this one. This one's clean and also quilted. Hitting. The colorway is a little bit more wearable on this, obviously with that like off-white colorway. Mm -hmm. um, this salmon, it's just like, you gotta be in Miami. You, you gotta, gotta be in Miami. Miami. You gotta have a fit and you gotta be ready to be in Miami. What do you guys think though, if you had yeah. to choose? Comment drop, below. Drop in the comments, what's better? All right guys, these Yeezys, something you just don't see every day in a sneaker collection. These are just gonna be super rare over the next 20 years, guys. They just like, I feel like these, these just don't exist. I had to get these, obviously I'm not playing any sports right now, <laughs> but I'm not gonna be towing these. Maybe one day I will for you know, a little rec league, flag football or something like that but these are just the, the cleanest, most hype cleats I've ever seen. They're coming off the turtle dove silhouette of the 350s. That's where that colorway is coming from. Unfortunately, the NFL is sponsored by Nike right now, so no one's rocking these. Like Adidas, you can't really rock these. But I remember back in the day when I was at the prep, shout out to Dre Swift, the guy, he was rocking these freshman year, going crazy on them. Guys, here, here they are, the original. Oh, there they go. There you go, right? 10 and a half, not my size, but just on ice. 
Because you have to. You have to. The restock pair, but still. Restock pair. Back been, in the day. Two bands. Two bands. And Easy. like right now, the OGs are probably like 1200, 1300. Another one. The original from 2015. Damn, here the we second go. Second one. That's the OG, but the Pirate Black original. Easy 350. Boost. I would say probably my favorite when it comes to the OGs is the Pirate Blacks. Like so clean right here. You got the Yeezy right here hitting on the side and then on here you have the Adidas. And they were my supposed part right there. They were supposed to re-release these before the whole Adidas and Kanye thing happened. Well, I'm going to release them this year, but that's not going to happen anymore. So these are going to the moon because they will never be restocked again, let alone made again, even though there is a 2016 version of them as well. I'm happy they didn't re-release them because now I got them. My Thank favorite you. Yeezy to ever come out besides the Nike ones, of course. A little cream right action. The cream. Triple, triple whites. White. I wore these for about two or three years back in college. I have two pairs of these planning on towing one, one of these days, but I'm just keeping them on ice for now. These, I think this is the only all white Yeezy Kanye made. When it comes to wearability, it's super wearable, but the second you go outside, those are getting ruined. Gotta so. be careful. You gotta be very careful. careful with with you step in the mud, game over. If you're a new sneaker person, right, new sneaker, I would say a new sneaker head to the channel, Yeezys have to be the best when it comes to wearability and like quality. Like it's just very comfortable shoe to wear. Can slip it on, like they're just so versatile and I would recommend going half size up if, yep. if you haven't worn Yeezys before. Jordan ones, what do we got? Original box, regular box. Oh, here we go. Oh, the Zion. Series. Damn, this is my first time seeing these. The ZWs right here, Zion Williamson, Jordan ones. There you go, voodoo right here on the back. I think these are gonna moon. Moon. These are going to moon if you wanna like buy 100 pairs of a shoe, this wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, we'll be at SneakerCon Philly in February, February 11th. So if you wanna pull up on us, maybe check out some of these pairs or even sell us pairs of shoes. And if you're in the Philadelphia area, make sure to pull up SneakerCon Philly, February 11th. Do not miss out. Let's get into the rest of the collection. Who's the 10. My favorite pair the of 10. shoes. The 10. Talk to them. I wear this shoe pretty much every day of my life. Oh, so you had to put another one on ice. As soon as I towed the pair <laughs> I had, I had to immediately cop another one because I couldn't risk not having one DS in the collection. The Nike Off-White Air Presto from 2017 in the all-white colorway. You got the quote-unquote shoelaces, the Air right here. It's nothing too crazy though. Like this is such a wearable shoe and it's the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn in my life. And this is in great condition considering like, when did this shoe come out? 2018, 2017. 2017, 2017. usually, a lot, that usually a lot of pairs like start aging and you see a lot of like just aged soles and all that. These are very clean, beautiful pair of shoes right here. This is a uh, no-brainer investment go. right here. The SB Mid Mama Bears from 2006 right here, guys. This shoe is going to $10,000 this decade, along with its other two counterparts in the pack of three, the Three Bears pack. It's just an iconic SB, one of the most iconic SBs of all time. And you're up on these, right? Up. Cop these for a snipe on a bid, about like 1200 These are easily 2000 2400 basically doubled my money, but just happy to have got these at a low price point for the ride up to 10000 If you guys like the tees that we just dropped, these are the Graphic Culture Lion tees. We also have the Philly Three-Headed Goat, as I like to say, the MVP tees. Those are on CultureKicksLLC.com. Make sure to shop those if you want to just support the boys. The most sold ever shoe in Culture Kicks history. <laughs> Definitely. You guys know the box. You already know. They are so hard to find. It looks like you found them. <laughs> we, we found them, guys. We found them. Sold literally almost a thousand of these over the holiday season. Insane. On CultureKicksLLC.com and our streaming platforms, guys. Here it is. The Jordan 1 of the decade thus far. The Lost and Found OG Chicago colorway. Doesn't get better than this. I love that they're starting to do this. If you guys just go check out our IG, we also are gonna post the Jordan 3 remastered, those white cements. They're coming out with these like crackled uh, looks on these shoes. It just makes it that nostalgia hit 10 times harder. This, the Dodgers, another Dodgers. big seller for us, part of the MLB uh, collabs they did. We right. have LA Dodgers right here. The, it, the Phillies dunk was probably our not a top three seller. I would say number one. We but. sold a size run in a day. Yeah. Literally sold one full size run in a day at the Flyers game. We were um, contracted with the Wells Fargo Center where we obviously sell there. So yeah, that was that was a crazy shoe for us. Based in Philly, Philly's dunks move like crazy, but LA Dodgers are not a bad second option. Palm well. tree right here, you know, on the other one you have the gum. Got bottom. Show them. Gum Ste bottom. Stepping on gum. Nothing crazy. Michigan State, the Spartan, Spartan dunks right here. Just another GR dunk in a colorway that's just iconic, college colorway, and just a shoe that's been mooning. The Momofuku uh, dunk highs. Momofuku. It's a noodle bar, noodle restaurant. 
um, in New York, and he got his own dunk. It's the, he got the peach right here. There you go, the easy seven, the only 700 I have. Get him out, and he's coming out. Super comfortable shoe, by the way, as well. Might have to try it on. We got the, the 700 Vantas, triple black. Triple black. All Jesus. black, 700. So out of the 700s, you know, not a super in-demand uh, style of Yeezy, but I think uh, you can't go wrong with an all black version. If 700s are gonna go up, this one's gonna go up big time. When these first dropped, I believe it was like 2019 or 2020, they went crazy, like $800, $900, and they restocked them last year, drove the price down to about 300, 350. Now you see them going for like four, 450. So yeah, they're gonna keep rising just because it's an all black Yeezy, triple black Yeezy. Um, and the 700s are just super wearable. Everyone yeah. calls them the dad shoes, the Yeezy dad shoes. More SBs, Scott B's in Houston. Yes. Crush DC. Yes, I remember. Collab. That was, a great, that was a great trip. Talk about them though. Crush DC right here on the tongue and on the inside and on the sole. There you go. Super unique shoe. Every swoosh has this cracked kind of splatter-ish design, which makes every shoe technically a one of one. Super, super clean shoe. I will definitely want to complete the collection and get all three of the dunks. Yeah. I would say out of the three that they made, um, they did like the Argan Blue, that core purple, and then the pistachio one. I think the pistachio one is my favorite. I agree. Cactus Trails. These ones are different. These are different, and that's why I had to get them. It's <laughs> unique. Anything Travis is gonna have hype, gonna have resale value, but these are just like, I could honestly see myself wearing these. Um, I used to have them in my collection. Super, super crazy shoe. I like going them, unfortunately. Here Fruity we go. Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles, not a super expensive shoe, just a cool shoe, like Fruity Pebble Laces, Fruity Pebble Sole. Yeah. Super unique. I don't know how many they made of these, but I think this is a shoe that could have resale value. It's a cornerstone of, the, of any collection because it's so unique. Right. I believe that's races. also LeBron's first Nike dunk collab. Obviously, be, right? obviously yeah. LeBron has his own uh, silhouette of LeBron's with Nike, but I think that's the first time he ever made a dunk. One of my personals as well. I wear these all the time. Yeah, this is a very easy wear. I'm very like, I might end up telling these. My pandas I've been wearing for almost, same pair of pandas, <laughs> almost a year. They're destroyed. Destroyed. So I might have to just throw these on toe because they're just as wearable as the pandas. Shout out to Whatnot too. We stream on Whatnot as well as Network um, at least three to four times a week. So if you guys are interested or into streaming and buying shoes off of a stream, come check us out on Whatnot. Now this is a shoe that we had hundreds of pairs of earlier this fall, the Yeezy Slate, the second to last Yeezy colorway to be released before the whole Kanye debacle. Guys, let us know in the comments. You guys still rocking with Ye? Drop down below uh, what you guys think about everything that's going on and if you're still rocking his shoes or buying his shoes. Yeah. Like, what do you think's gonna happen to the value of his shoes in the future? Jordan ones, Off-White and Jordan have ended their partnership, so you'll never see a Jordan Off-White collab ever again, and these are the UNC Jordan 1 Off-White highs. So iconic, so clean. Might need to tow these at some point in my life, but right now, too valuable, and I think they're gonna go much, much, much higher. The Chicago like Off-White. Seven, seven bands. Six bands. Seven bands, six bands. So these, I mean, UNC, you go from Chicago, right? That's where Michael Jordan played is pretty much his whole career. His high, his college career was in at UNC. These are gonna go up there. Got these for like two bands, guys. I think that's a steal. Um, in Houston as well. In Houston Not as well, Houston. Uh, as part of a deal with another shoe that we'll get into in a little bit, a big hitter, the biggest hitter in my collection thus far. Crazy GR. Crazy GR, the quality. Restocked this, this year too. You know, a little bit of a puffier leather here on the swoosh, just more high quality, just like the Kentucky Dunks. Shout out Alex Lotier, Syracuse alum. There you Syracuse go. Syracuse alum. <laughs> But yeah, these and the Kentuckys, they re released these first in 2020. That was like a kind of like a pack, I guess. Like they released them like boom, Syracuse, boom, Kentucky. That's when dunks were going crazy. And here is a top, Birds. top seller for us, the Lottos, the, the e Eagles. E -G -E -S, Eagles. The Birds dunks, guys. Part of the lottery pack. I also have the jackpots somewhere either in here or part of the uh, part one of the collection. They're called the lottery packs because on the right shoe, you have the hang tag that is a little, scratch, a little off. scratch off coin and you can actually, this coin actually doesn't work too well. You should use like a knife or something and be very careful or another coin. And you can scratch off the swoosh and reveal. You reveal right. this pattern underneath on the swoosh. You just gotta scratch it off. You have guavas, Jordan 4s. Another shoe that is gonna easily go over a thousand and approach 2,000 over the next few years. Ooh. 
Rookie of the years. One of my favorites. Chase always wears these with, of course. I, th I would rock with the red laces as well. Yeah. Have to. These are super, super clean. Yeah. I might end up wearing these one of these days. Uh, but still want to copy my man Chase yeah. over here, but these are so clean. Copies off Culture Kicks, LLC.com. How much do you think Franco's collection is worth? He's got 100 pairs. You've seen, you know, the first video we showed the rest of his pairs, as well as these. Comment below how much you think his collection is worth. Jordan 11s. Cool grace. Maybe, maybe everybody's favorite shoe. My favorite. Hey, everyone's favorite shoe. I'm wearing them right now. I had to take them off there for, you go. Uh, for being inside, but I was rocking them right now. Got the cool grays on. These are in my size. I'm, I'm rocking the cherries right now, but once the cherries get too beat up, I might just have to throw these on toe. Oh, shit. We got right here. Those are, Dance. those are a shoe that I guarantee no one watching the Culture Channel has seen, but if you guys are into NFTs at all, this is a limited to 555 Vans, V Friends, X Vans, wow. X Drifter shoots. If you guys know who Drifter is, one of the best photographers in the world. That dude puts his life on the line to take pictures on top of very high buildings. And did this collab with Gary, custom Vans, only given to gift goat holders. You guys Damn. can see back there, I don't know if you can see it. I am a gift goat holder, so every two months, the NFT makes it so you're able to get a gift that Gary sends. This was a gift, a King Saladin print right here. Shout out my girlfriend, that sick culture neon sign we'll show you guys in a little bit. This Johnny Walker blue label, you guys can see out of 555 V Friends. This, these are some of the examples of gifts you can get if you own one of the 555 gift goats. And also for Christmas, I got a thousand dollar June oven right here where you could actually see what's cooking on your phone. Gary sent that to all gift, uh, gift goat holders for free. Golf 58, got yep. these in Houston yep. from Shout my man TX Soulmates. Hooked Shout me out TX Soulmates, with bro. These, these are sick. I've never even seen these before. Had to look them up when he told when I saw them. <laughs> Definitely love this. Of course, that baby blue on the top of the whole shoe is very nice. And then on the bottom of the sole here, you got that orange hit. Just a very unique two colors. I don't feel like you see those two colors a lot. So. No, and I don't even know what Golf 58 is. It doesn't even is know that, what it is. Is it like a gas station? I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I'm really probably don't. putting Golf 58 to shame right now. Yeah, I really just, is. I apologize, just don't know. If you guys know, please drop in the comments yeah. what it is. Love these boxes. The Marty, oh! the Marty McFly's, guys. Oh my the God. The Air Mag Dunks. Here you have the SB Dunk Low. Marty McFly from 2015. These actually came out on my birthday, May 22nd, 2015. Crazy. And so you needed them. I needed them. And of course, I uh, obviously don't have Air Mags in the collection just yet. So just yet. This is as close as I'm going to get for now. I think all you guys should cop a pair of these while you can. These are going to go to, I literally think, $10,000 over the next 10 years. Here we have it. Jordan I'm 1. I'm definitely going to botch this name, but I've... It's the SE Clots, I think. They're oh, called. those are the Clots. The yeah, Clots. Yeah, yeah. SE Clots. These are super... Super cool. I actually bought these to toe, but the material is a little too rigid for me. Yeah, Clot and Nike have done a bunch of collabs in the past. These ones are crazy. This is a mid. I remember when these dropped, um, they were still they were going for high bread, like maybe four or five hundred dollars off rip. Uh, and you can actually peel away all of this, and it has like a crazy underlayer of like Shit. bread. Yeah, this can all be cut off with a with some scissors or a knife or whatever. It's this like reflective white though. You could literally, I bought this cause I was like, I could wear this shit. Yeah. You could step out. For but sure. It's a little too, like I'm gonna- I'm This gonna is the fear this. pack though. Limits like fears are often an illusion. I have the blue, the greats. Uh, those, that was a part of the fear pack. And then there's another one as well. Probably two more I'm missing. But yeah, they all dropped around the same time. Halloween's. Halloween's. The Halloween's got these from my man, TX Soulmates. Shout Again. out to him. The In plug. Houston, the plug. Just thought these were cool. You know, I love Halloween. I have two pairs of mummy dunks, actually. Some of my favorite dunks as well. These glow in the dark as well. I wish we could show them that, but yeah. yeah. The bottoms glow in the dark, and then this print as well, like pops and lights up. Um, I believe it's reflective when you take a flick 3M. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool shoe. Last SB here. Woo! Oh, some heat. Got these in Finish Houston as heat. well. These guys, you know how much I love the quilted interior. The what the Pauls, what guys. The P Pauls. Rod. Paul Rodriguez, you know, look at that. It's just like, these are so fire. Made them crazy, crazy. crazy. Definitely hope hope I can wear these one day. Got these for a steal in Houston, steal. Jordan one low. Harris. Harris. These are crazy. Great okay. colorway. Great colorway, super wearable. Anything with, any shoe with the word Paris in the name usually is expensive. Again, Jordan 1 Lowe's, they usually don't have the best quality, right? Like they're usually just not pumping them the way they do with the highs, but these have amazing quality. The leather on it's great. Um, even this suede material is beautiful. 
Just a little Paris right here, yeah, tag the, hitting. The tag as it's well, fire. the leather tag. Colorway is also just unbeatable. Very nice colorway. Bunch of just different tones of gray. The back hit, you have the uh, blue, this like light blue, the Air Jordan. Just a beautiful shoe, man. Beautiful shoe. A Yeezy. We're finishing it off. Sesame's. Sesame's. Another th OG 350 right here. You have no no uh, Spy 350 right here. No, not at all. St. Pablo does not love you on this one. Final shoe, actually, to show you guys. Here crazy, we go. Crazy, crazy shoe. My favorite shoe. My most valuable shoe in my collection. Box. You guys know what these are. These shoes are too valuable to not keep in a box like this. We have the Jordan 4 Dornbecker. Crazy. Superman. On Superman the tongue. edition, bro. My God, these shoes. I've wanted them since I was a kid before I was really even into sneakers. I wanted this shoe. Always out of my price range, obviously, when these shoes came out. I was very, very young. Now, finally, thank the Lord, I was in a position to afford these. These will never leave my collection. If you don't know already, uh, the Dornbecker collabs that Jordan does and Nike does, uh, they basically um, allow someone who's uh, suffering from either cancer or some type of uh, you know unfortunate disease in the Dornbecker hospital, and they allow those kids to actually design their own shoe. I think it's amazing. That's why Dornbecker, the Dornbecker series, is one of my favorite mm -hmm. in all of shoes. That's why like this, I think, is the most iconic Dornbecker shoe. I had to own it. This was designed, I believe, in 2011. And I copped it in Houston as part of a bulk deal with that off-white UNC Jordan 1 High. Uh, two of my favorite shoes copped in the same deal. Uh, it was a really exciting day for me, but this shoe, I think, is going to easily be $10,000 sooner than later. Um, so I think it's a must-buy if you guys want to cop. Do you remember what you paid on it, too? I paid like $2,200, like yeah. $2,100. I paid like around $4,000, a little over $4,000 for both. So yeah, a little over 2,000 for this one, and this shoe, I think the last sale on StockX was like 3,000. This shoe is going to 10K, great deal. no doubt. That's a great deal, and that's an amazing collection, and I know Franco, moving forward, is just gonna up that collection even more. This guy has so many bids on StockX where he's just looking for all these crazy collectible type of shoes. So hopefully in the future we can do a part three, and that'll be in his new place. Exactly, I'm gonna be popping a, a really cool setup there, get the shoes in better displays and just boxes and in my bedroom, uh, just in the middle of my kitchen for you guys. We'll do a sick video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed part two. Drop in the comments below what your favorite shoe that I own is. And if you guys want to see any of these listed on culturekicksllc.com that aren't listed, also drop in the comments below. We will get those uploaded for you guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.